Okay, hey guys, I've been sitting I was going to start my Stone of the Week, and even though I did a, a, a guest spot on Bravehawk's channel, on the Moon, I felt Moonlight, I didn't start my own videos like I was supposed to. <laughs> so, I'm going ahead and starting the videos today, Sunday, because I wanted to be Stone Sunday. I just like the way that sounds. So, the stone for today is Mookite. And, I'm sorry you hear my kids playing in the background. They're loud. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> my whole family's loud. <laughs> oh, I need some water. But anyway, the stone for today is Mookite. Now, Mookite is not naturally this ugly. <laughs> I know, to me, this looks like um, petrified diarrhea. That's what it reminds me of. But... You know, when I was going to get Mukai in the store and I picked it up, you know, it was all these real pretty ones that had different various variations like darker browns and stuff going through it or was a darker brown light going through it. And of course the one that calls to me is this one. The one that looks like oh, well I already said what it looks like. But yeah. The ugly one is the one that wanted me. <laughs> but you know, everything has its own type of beauty to it. But anyway, getting back to what Mukite is. Mukite is a very practical stone. Um, it's a stone where if um, you're feeling very overwhelmed because you have so much to do and you don't know where to start, how to start, or even when to start, this is a good stone to meditate with. You put it over your solar plexus um, and, just and just meditate, breathe in, breathe out. Well, breathe in, hold, then breathe out. Um, you usually start with counts of threes. So you would inhale for the count of three, hold your breath for the count of three, then exhale for the count of three. And keep. And the more you do that, um, the more you will um, start to get ideas of what to do first, where to do it first, how to do it. It's a very, this stone is a very good stone for um, analyzing and getting things done. Not analyzing the thought, but making things practical. When, if you're ch channeling higher information or... Um, uh, if you're channeling higher information or if you, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted right now, but if you're channeling higher information and you don't know um, how to apply this information or you're starting to learn more spiritual teachings and a different type of spirituality than what you're used to and you're trying to figure out how to apply it, this is a great stone that will help you learn how to apply it to your life. Uh, so with that, um, it's pretty much, um, pretty much not much more to talk about. Talk about Mukite. I don't work with Mukite very often because I naturally analyze and get things done. That's just part of my energy makeup. So I don't need to work with the stone too often. Uh, so it's not much more that I can say about the stone to help you all out with other ways of using it. Uh, the ways I have used it, like I said, I just said that it just works with you know holding it in your hand, holding it over your solar chakra, having it out. Um, you could put a lot of, you could do a crystal grid with this being the center or the main focal point of that crystal grid, and you know do a meditation that way. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for this one. So everybody, stay blessed.